toilet. Since everything, including astronauts, floats in microgravity, sitting or standing to use the potty in space required practice, patience, and a little bit of acrobatics. Some astronauts position thigh bars or grab onto hand holes around the potty to stay on the seat. Oh, because you might float away. Oh, tow bars secured astronauts while they stood to go to the bathroom. Since astronauts would pee in a hose, there's a hose, I guess. Uh, even women could urinate standing up if they chose. Hmm. And in space, no one ever leaves the seat up. <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> To give astronauts some idea of what to expect in space, they could use a special trainer potty here on Earth that was set up just like the one on the shuttle, but nothing could really prepare them for going into microgravity. They received that training on the job. So let's see this. Space potty. In microgravity, waste doesn't plop right into the toilet like it does on Earth. Poop curl sticks and doesn't fall off. Lovely. Poop curl sticks and doesn't fall off. Urine clings to any surface it touches and will forget water for flushing. Water won't stay in the toilet. It's called the waste collection system. For both peeing and pooping, airflow helped to pull the waste away from the body and whisk it to the right bag or compartment for storage. The shuttle potty stored urine in one spot and feces in another. Astronauts urinated into a funnel attached to a hose and pooped into a hole much tinier than on potty seats on Earth. Inside, poop was collected in a bag, exposed to the vacuum of space to kill germs, hmm, and then stored for the trip back to Earth. Air used in the potty passed through a filter to clean out bacteria and odors before it returned to the crew cabin. Hmm. Thank goodness. What happened to the urine?